Hello, this is Sage, the Balloon Sage. And while a lot of balloon artists are making ghosts and skeletons and spiders for the Halloween season, I've been getting my inspiration from a different source. Mr. Boma. In fact, I was watching Mr. Boma's wonderfully comprehensive penguin tutorial before I came up with this super cute bracelet. A chubby little penguin sat on a piece of polar ice. This deluxe design uses just four 260s, plus a little bit of scrap for the 3D eyes and face stripe if you choose. And I'm going to be twisting this one pretty fast, so get ready. Touch on any given design. 
once it's placed firmly between those puffy cheeks, you have the main portion of your penguin dot. Let's enhance the aesthetic by taking a scrap of black, and you're going to push it right under that forehead to make sure it's flat too. It's going to come down like this until it gets to these uh, pair of cylinders twists in the back of the head. Now you can tie it through, or you can even just kind of tuck it in. It will stay in most likely with friction. So you bring that down to the beak, and just, you know, carefully stick it in there. You want it centered, because if it's off to one side, then it won't stay straight. And just something like that. You can even just tuck it in if you're really in a hurry. You're doing this for line work or something like that. So you fix the line on the face, and it's as simple as that. But you need the 3D eyes. Now I'm using the classic two pinch twists tied together. This is a sapphire blue scrap. And it's simple. You just, these eyes are kind of big, again, variations. You kind of just stick it on there between the line. Let me take a look here. Ooh. Yes, these eyes are big. <laughs> that is cute anyway. Our penguin's precarious polar perch is simply six petal twists formed into a flower. But I like to make them kind of tiny, and I use a clear 260. Let me make one about, see that says maybe 300. And make another one. It's important to keep these even. And it won't look like there'll be six there. But, you know, sometimes you have to control the air of each one individually. And uh, the clear likes to pop. It really does. So make it a little bit malleable. I can twist them into their form, and it should be fine. So six petals. And upon completing your little ice flower here, you're going to take the penguin, take a clear 260, and inflate, I know this sounds insane, but <laughs> inflate the uninflated balloon. Basically just pushing a little bit there. And push, tie off so that it's filled just enough that it won't twist on the kid's arm and it'll remain as a bracelet. Grab the penguin, tie around, again, around this pinch twist, but do it carefully because you don't want to overload it in the back here. Very careful. Once around, that's good. Pull it down. Onto the ice. Tie it through into the center, up to the other side. Back around the tail, carefully of course. Back down through the middle. And that should be, and maybe a little bit more around one more. There we go. There it is, it's sitting on the ice. You wrap it around, tie it into itself, and then it becomes the bracelet. Just like that. Here are the completed Penguins on Ice balloon bracelets. I really like this model, and I want to thank Mr. Boma so much for the inspiration. In fact, I would love it, if you're not already subscribed, to go to Mr. Boma's channel. There's a link in the description, or if you're on your computer, you'll see the one right on the screen. So click that and check him out. Thanks a lot. I have a lot more stuff on the way, so I'll see you soon. If you would like to learn more, subscribe to our channel.